the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we prepare to meet God in word and sacrament on this beautiful fall morning, let us remember the times that we perhaps have turned away from God rather than toward God. We have chosen our way over God's way. Let us humbly ask God for mercy and forgiveness. In a special way this fall, I've invited you to look closely at your relationship with Jesus and to ask Jesus to help you grow closer to him. It involves taking the time and effort to listen to Jesus speak and to respond to his call with openness. Have you lowered your net for catch and taken the Lord up on his invitation to you? He can certainly make himself known in many and varied ways, beckoning us, instilling a desire within us, inviting us to act in sometimes subtle and not so subtle ways. Today, I invite Larry Flynn to share his story about the different ways Jesus invited Larry to deepen his relationship with him and how Larry responded to Jesus' invitation. Welcome, Larry. Good morning. As Father Bob mentioned, my name is Larry Flynn, and I'm here to share with you a bit about my journey to the Catholic faith. As some background, I was raised in the Episcopal Church and, like many adolescents, went through religious education and volunteered at Sunday Mass during my teenage years. However, I think like many of us, this was a matter of going through the motions more than anything else. After moving away to college, I somewhat lost my connection to my faith, not regularly attending church and not spending much time in prayer. I still carried all the same beliefs, but wasn't committed to practicing my faith. A few years after college, I married my wife, Amy, who was born and raised Catholic. Before we married, Amy and I had agreed to raise our children Catholic. But it wasn't until last spring, when my daughter, our oldest, was five, that my wife and I realized the need to introduce a religious background for our kids, and so we began attending Mass here at Holy Family. Now reflecting back on meeting my wife, being open to a Catholic upbringing for my children, and the realization of their need for faith, I can see that this was all the power of Jesus working through my family to bring me to a closer relationship with Him. Now at some point during the summer last year, I came across information about the RCIA program and converting to the Catholic faith, which piqued my interest. But it was really Jesus reaching out to me through my two oldest kids that nudged me along, with them beginning to continually ask me question, simple questions like, Dad, why aren't you going up for communion? It became clear to me at that point that my converting to Catholicism was integral to uniting our family together through faith. So I enrolled in RCIA, which consisted of weekly meetings every Sunday morning for about eight months. Like many busy families, this posed a challenge with my wife's soccer coaching schedule for my daughter, and so we were in need of some help in watching our two, two younger children. Of course, like any good grandparents, my mother-in-law and father-in-law, who later became my RCIA sponsor, agreed to be available every Sunday to watch the little ones. Just another example of how my family guided me on this journey at the hands of Jesus. The RCIA program was a gradual transition, transformation for me in my faith and helped me to realize all these ways that Jesus had been reaching out to me to explore the Catholic faith. Now, one of the most important takeaways for me from, from, uh, from RCIA was the role God and Jesus play in our family life, both from the blessings he has given to us through our children and families, but also in the role that he has asked us to take in instilling the faith in our, ch in our children. My wife and I now have four wonderful young children that are an absolute blessing. So an important part of my vocation as a Catholic parent is not only providing them with the love and support any parent should, but also helping to nurture and guide their understanding and connection to Jesus and the faith. For me, the most important part of my daily routine with my children is our nightly prayers. Prior to coming to Mass last summer and joining our CIA, our family didn't have a standard nightly prayer ritual. But today, there's great import importance to our nightly prayer routine, which consists of all six of us joining together to offer our prayers. Each night, we rotate whose room we are in, and whoever's room it is has the privilege of saying a special prayer of thanksgiving or for a specific intention. My two-year-old son started out by just praying for whatever he saw, his bed, his toy box, or a stuffed animal, but he's starting to catch on. But my six-year-old daughter has really amazed me at times, praying for things like those that are less fortunate or those that are sick. But no matter whether the prayers are for the toy box or the less fortunate, we are spending that time together in prayer and connecting together as a family with God which is really what's important. So in reflecting on my journey to the Catholic faith, it's amazing to look back and see how Jesus can speak to us and guide us in so many ways. Whether it's introducing someone into our lives or subtly speaking to us through our children, 
or through the support of our families. But like everyone, my journey obviously doesn't end here, as we're all looking to deepen our relationship with Jesus. We just need to make sure we're open to hearing his call and helping those around us find their way to him, like my family has done for me. Thank you. Thank you, Larry, for sharing your touching story about your response to Jesus' invitation to a deeper relationship with him within the Catholic Church, and we're very happy to have you as part of our number. I was struck by a variety of ways how Jesus got through to you, Larry, through your experience attending the family mass with your wife and children, the bulletin announcement that piqued your interest in our CIA, your children's questions, your nightly prayer time with them, the support of your in-laws that removed an obstacle to your participation in the RCIA, let alone the RCIA process itself, which became so transformative in your life. All of these ways Jesus spoke to you and led you, not only to a deeper relationship with him and his church, but also to a firm resolution to live more fully your vocation as a Christian father. We were op you were open, Larry, and you responded readily and generously to the different ways that Jesus called you through your family and through our parish. And the blessings of, in your life have been abundant. My friends, how is Jesus inviting you to something more in your relationship with him? Jesus is speaking and acting in your life right now in a variety of ways. Do you hear it? Do you see it? Are you willing to take time each day to reflect on what you experience of his presence in your life? Pope Francis urges us first and foremost to listen to Jesus, to attend to our encounters with him in the course of our daily life. And when we hear his voice and respond to his call, our lives will never be the same. It takes courage and change isn't easy, but Jesus reassures us do not be afraid. Follow me. I invite you to take the next step and see what fullness of life in Christ is all about.